This is an offensive lineman, ladies and gentlemen, who just completed his 20th season. I can't even fathom that. 20 years as an offensive lineman with the beatings that they suffer. He played in more games than any other lineman in the history of the National Football League. He was a seven-time Pro Bowler. I was interested in this little bit of trivia. He has blocked for and protected 23 different quarterbacks and 36 different running backs. That's quite an accomplishment right there, and I don't know how many that's going to, on records that's going to be on there. He has always been highly respected for his work ethic and his leadership. He and Russell, are, uh, Russell Maryland, are obviously out of the same cut. This is a very strong family man. He is heavily involved in his community. He has been a strong fundraiser and contributor. He's a participant in a children's cancer fundraiser. He has been very, very active in his church. He's a Little League baseball manager at times, and he has contributed $10,000 recently to the United Negro College Fund. The list goes on and on, but I am extremely proud today to present this award to Mr. Jackie Slater. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know, all of my correspondents uh, from the people here uh, about coming to, the, to this breakfast uh, have been uh, all interesting. They've been all, there's one uh, central thread that's kind of woven its way through those correspondents. All the people said to me, said, Jackie, uh, you have five minutes. <laughs> and you, and you, can't, you can't go over. Um, I, I think the reason why they said that to me in particular is because they realized that I'm an offensive lineman and, and at most of these things, uh, they're always inviting the quarterbacks, the running backs, the wide receivers, or, or some sack happy linebacker. And, they, and offensive, linemen, <laughs> offensive linemen don't usually get much of a chance, so when we get our, our, our chance on stage, we usually can go on and on and on. But in an effort to keep things moving, Joe, I'll, I'll try, to, try to move on as uh, brisk as, as I can. You know, a year ago in Miami, I sat right out right out in the audience as uh, Chris Carter received this award. And I remember thinking, man, how great it is. I heard him talk about his family, and I saw his wife, and, and his little kid was sitting right about over there, was yelling, Daddy, Daddy. I said, man, that's fantastic that, that we're honoring a guy who, who is giving something extra, is doing something extra. And I thought, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I left feeling a little bit inadequate. I felt like there's a lot more that perhaps I should have been doing and, and could have been doing. And I left, and I went back, and. And I reflected, and I honestly can't say I did a whole lot more over the years' time. But as I began, uh, after 20 years of pro football and, and in 20 years of pro football, I began to reflect over the last 20 years. And I, be, I began to, things began to come to mind of the, like the many people that I played with and some of the guys who I had an, an opportunity to influence their lives and, and see God change their lives and see their marriages uh, get straightened out and see them get back on the right track, guys getting off of drugs and things like that. And, and it dawned on me at that time, you know, that God is not concerned about the big, big things. He's concerned about the little things. He's concerned about the guy that's willing to be available. And I am really, really proud and, and thankful to him for giving me a heart that makes me willing to be available. Back in 1974, a young lady that I was dating, uh, she said to me, she said, Jackie, she said, do you think that God is pleased with the way you're living your life? Um, you know, and I want you to know that uh, I was a guy that went to church every Sunday. And I go to church and I say, thank you, Lord, for the success yesterday and uh, help me um, in the game coming up this coming Saturday. And I leave church and I go live my life uh, the way I felt, uh, you know, best doing it, which was not conducive to any kind of long-term success, believe me. But um, the young lady, uh, what she said to me, it just weighed heavy on my mind. It, it weighed heavy on my mind for two weeks. And finally, at the end of that second week, I went down the aisles of that little church there in Jackson, Mississippi, and I accepted Jesus Christ somewhat on a dare. And I said, Lord, if you who you say you are, if you who all these, all these people are saying you are, come into my life and change my life and make me the person you want me to be. Well, you don't dare God to do anything. And he came into my life and uh, systematically uh, began to change me and helped me to get, a, get rid of a lot of bad habits a lot of personal bad habits, a lot of uh, bad attitudes, and things that, as I said earlier, were certainly not conducive uh, to playing in the National Football League for 20 years. Uh, my work 
work ethic changed and uh, just my overall attitude became a plus and, and I saw the people around me, uh, lives become affected by the things that I was trying to do. So as I said, I'm gonna try to keep this brief, but I would like to thank each and every one of you for coming out and participating and, and helping us to share in a celebration, which is what this is. We're celebrating Jesus Christ. We're celebrating a guy who gave his life and everything about himself for us, that none of us would perish and uh, go to hell. And I think we should all be very, very thankful. That. And I like to challenge, you know. Um, I always like to challenge people when I go out and talk. Uh, you know, I played 20 years of pro football. I've been playing pro football since I was 13 years old. I've been playing. <laughs> I've been playing football since I was 13 years old. And you know, it, it dawns on, it, it, I get the years mixed up sometimes, bro. You know, it, it, it just dawned on me, and I always share this to people. It could very easily be that the only reason why I played pro football for 20 years is that the Lord would honor me with this opportunity to stand before you and tell you about Jesus Christ. So that you, or you, or you, or you, or whoever it is in the audience who doesn't know the person of Jesus Christ would have an opportunity to hear about it so that you might have eternal life and that you might not die and go to hell. And so I'm very thankful for this award. It, it, it will be one of my most cherished uh, prized possessions uh, for the rest of my life, I tell you. I don't think that uh, there's an award being presented to anyone here during Super Bowl week that could mean more than what this stands for. And I know my family is going to be is awfully proud and as well as I am. Thanks a lot for coming and thank you very much. <laughs>